But those two shootings happened as local police announced some good news in the fight against crime. New this midday, authorities say more drugs and illegal guns are off the streets. The Norfolk Police Department hosted a news conference this morning to discuss the results of Operation Triple Beam Tidewater. That's right. It was a U.S. Marshals-led counter-gang initiative. The 60-day operation, which took place during June and July, resulted in dozens of arrests and firearms seized across Hampton Roads. Down to your side's Asia Tolliver just got back from the news conference. She joins us live in the newsroom with the details. Asia, what can you tell us? Well, guys, this morning, police chiefs from every city in Hampton Roads, as well as other federal and state partners, stood together for the conference. Operation Triple Beam Tidewater was led by the Capital Area Regional Task Force. So the whole concept of this, they wanted to focus on wanted gang members and firearms-related offenders. A lot of arrests were made in the operation. 46 fugitives, including eight homicide suspects and 17 wanted for firearm offenses. This morning, officials said the recent spike in crime is related related to gang activity. Among those arrested was also 20 gang members and known gang associates. Norfolk Police Chief Larry Boone has told Ted on your side multiple times the recent crime also has to do with guns getting into the wrong hands. And with that in mind, 36 guns were also confiscated in the operation, as well as nearly $40,000 in cash. Lastly, another shocking number, half a million dollars worth of drugs were seized as well. Officials say the overall goal for the operation was to create safer communities by cutting down on gang-related violence. There's pockets in Hampton Roads that are impacted by poverty, and there's always been a nexus between poverty and gangs. Folks, this isn't new, all right? And we're going to continue to talk about this. We'll do another operation. And we'll get up here and say the same things. I don't say that to minimize our efforts, but I say that that we really need to focus on our youth, the flow of guns, and poverty. So it was made really clear there that we as a Hampton Roads community still have a long way to go. This operation, while successful, was just a fraction of the work that still needs to be done. But stay with us. I'll have another update on this press conference in about 30 minutes. In the newsroom, I'm Aisha Talbert. It's on your side.